Hello teacher, welcome back. In this second video, we are going to talk about the 10 qualities of a good sports writer. So I hope that after this um, lesson or this presentation, we are going to imbibe these said qualities for us to become a certified good sports writer. Okay, so let's start with the first one. As a sports writer, we must always bear in mind that we are writing for our readers and not for ourselves, okay? So, andito po, ito po ay nandoon na, na-discuss na po natin, di ba? On our previous lessons that when we write any article, since we are journalists, we must always bear in mind that we are not writing for ourselves but for our reader. So, we must um, always... Um, make sure that the interest of our readers are what is catered most and not our own interest. Okay, so that is the first um, quality of a good sports writer. And the second quality of a good sports writer is that the, as a sports writer, we must attend the games as reporters, as reporters, attend the games as reporters and not as spectator or a cheerer. Okay? So, um, minsan kasi kapag may favorite tayong team, so gano'n, nag-cheer na tayo, hindi na tayo nag-take notes or kumbaga uh, nag-o-observe ng maayos kasi nga, andito na tayo nakafocus sa pagiging cheerer natin. Okay? So, this is the second quality. You must attend the game as a reporter. Next is, as a reporter, you must, we must observe accuracy in the article. So, since sports article is just like very the same with the news story, so of course, we are dealing with facts. We must be very accurate in terms of the names of the players, if the, if the surnames or the, or, or the spellings of their names are not are quite difficult. So we must make sure, double check always if we have spelled it correctly. We must be, be very accurate when it comes to the scores and so on and so forth. Again, we are dealing with facts. Okay, if we want to deliver a good sports article, then we must make sure that our facts are all accurate. Excuse me. And the next quality is that uh, a sports writer must be fair and unbiased when reporting. Um, when we are going to um, watch a certain sports event, and especially if we are watching basketball or anything, and then my favorite tayong group na kasali doon sa game na yun, so we must kahit pa um, nanalo or natalo sila, whatever the result, our um, article must be fair. It should not be biased towards the yung bias natin and doon sa ano natin sa favorite team natin, okay? So, hindi dapat ganun. As a sports writer, again, you are not writing for yourselves but for your readers. Next is, a good sports writer must know sports well enough. Okay? So, sports, of course, since these are games, meron talagang rules na kailangan sundin, and then meron mga strategies, ginagawa you know, yung mga players, and of course, the player records, the, um, like, ilang championships na yung nak nakamit nila before, or is this his first time being a player, or something like that. So, you must know sports well enough for you to deliver a very good sports article para na enjoy um sense, kumbaga, na ay unod ang imuhang article. So, next is, as a sports writer, you must know the coaches and players as intimately as possible. Okay? So, if you are planning to have, um, to cover a basketball um, game, and so, you must know the names of the coaches, you must know the names of the players, and not just know their names, but if you can make, um, you know, yung pagigamitin mo yung pagiging friendly mo so that you will know you'll be able to have a chance to interview them kasi hindi ka na mahihiya mag mag approach sa kanila to conduct some interview or something o kapag friendly yung pag kapag friendly ka na pagkatao right so you have to make ways on how to improve that part of yourself and you must always remember that in order for you to come up with a good sports article um, sports article with um, um, with substance, kung you must know the coaches and players very well. 
Okay, so next is number seven. The seventh quality of a good sports writer is that you must be able to take notes quickly. Kasi nga, as a sports writer, it is very important or it is very, it is advisable for you to go to the event good. Event mismo, you really have to watch the game by your own eyes for you to have a good experience and that experience will will eventually affect your sports article. Kasi kung ipo, kapag ikaw mismo nakar- nagkaroon ng first-hand experience, of course, yung na-feel mo yung adrenaline, yung na-feel mo yung um, joy when the teams won, parang na-feel mo yung hype, kumbaga, well, the, you know, well, the fans are cheering for their favorite teams. Kapag andun ka talaga sa mismong event na yun, mas mag- marirelate mo yan, mas maganda yung mga bagay na maisusulat mo kasi nga naka-experience ka first hand. And so, dahil you are on the event, so you must make sure that you are able to ano, to take down notes as quickly as possible. Um, iwasan natin na um, pumunta tayo doon na nagwa-watch lang tayo kasi minsan kapag hindi tayo nagta-take notes, kadalasan talaga kasi nga um, na, ano na natin, yung parang na-emerge na mas na immerse na tayo doon sa ano sa game nalilimutan na natin mag take notes and then after that the game possible na hindi na distorted na yung facts okay better talaga if while well, you are enjoying the game you are also writing quickly okay so again as a good sports writer you must be able to take notes quickly. So, kapag ikaw ay sports writer, palagi kang may baon na notepad. Yung notepad mo, dapat is yung notebook na, yung flip notebook. Oh, so, actually, any journalist, kahit anong passing writer ka man, yung suggested talaga na notebook para sa iyo, ay yung steno notebook. Yung parang i-flip-flip mo lang para mas madali sa iyo hawakan and mas madali mong i-flip transfer to another page. Okay? So, that's one tip. Next is the another quality is as a sports writer you must use the specialized language of the sports that you are reporting. So um on the earlier slides uh mayroon doon mga sports vocabulary or the thing we call sports lingo in basketball, in volleyball, in soccer, in baseball or softball, in swimming. So we have different sports terminologies. And so if you are going if you are planning to write a uh, sports article about swimming so you must be knowledgeable enough about the sports lingo that you are going to use it's okay hindi naman necessary talaga na memorize mo lahat 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 but you just have to be familiar with it, with the words and then but for better if you can memorize it but i know is since we are still um starting as a sports writer um it's good to become familiar except for those sports enthusiasts na no kasi especially the basketball mga boys natin na mga writers so parang sa kanila very easy na lang mag mag ano mag write ng mga sports terms so if you are a sports writer it is really um recommended of us to read read and read okay So now let's proceed to the ninth quality of a good sports writer. So as a sports writer, you must tell the story in plain, factual terms that truly describe the action, especially if you are writing a straight sports story. Okay, it, it must be um because you are just dealing with facts, so it must be plain, yung parang straight news straight news sports story man siya so dapat direct to the point unlike if or unless if you are writing a um sports feature like atong mga sa types of um sports article like the profiles something like that okay so this um quality is very um applicable if you are writing a straight sports story so next and the 10th last last um quality that a sports qual- sports writer should imbibe is that a sports writer must not make comments without supporting them with facts on which these are based okay so this is somehow connected with a former um quality that as a writer you should not be biased or something if 
hindi talaga maiwasan na meron kang comment, especially if you are writing an edit to a, no, edit, not editorial column, if you are writing a sports column wherein you express your opinion about a player, a team, a coach, or something. So, if that is a bit, um, kina, or if na kayo gusto ipuna, Now, if that is um, a comment about a certain person's kind of more actions, not more kaganahan. So, if you are stating that, make sure that it is supported with facts. Okay? Na naging basis mo bakit ganito, ganyan. So, hindi dapat, kanang yung padalas-dalas ka lang, ah, just because, oh, anyway, I'm writing on the sports column, so I am free to express my opinion. Okay? Again and again, Um, it's one uh sa so journalism ano ethics kung baga it's um we must always make sure that we are not trying to degrade someone with our article and our words okay so again here are the top 10 qualities of a good sports writer yes I, anyway, again, I will give you a copy of this one, and so you might be able to take a review after this presentation. So, I hope you have learned something in this video, and I hope as a journalist, a future journalist, student journalist, you are going to imbibe these um, qualities for you to become a good sports writer. So, thank you so much for listening, and God bless you.